Hello there, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, and welcome back to episode number 18 of my AFC Wimbledon career mode. Thank you for coming back and joining me. Um, today's date, when I uh, record this, is the uh, 12th. It will probably go up sometime uh, tonight or tomorrow. But um, I've just had word across my desk of Neil Ardley leaving the club by mutual consent. Uh, Neil Ardley, the manager in real life, who's been under a lot of pressure after getting some very bad results. And... Um, I want to say, Neil, cheers. Well, we Thank you for all today. you've done for this club. Um, I don't necessarily agree that it's all your fault. I think it is mostly the players. But thank you so much for doing all you did, getting us into League One. And uh, all those games against uh, MK, we suffered. Uh, uh, we had to start playing uh, when you took over. Um, you helped us through it. Much appreciated. Much appreciated, my man. Best of luck to you in your future endeavours. I think you'll make a cracking manager elsewhere. So, with that being said, whether you agree with what I said or not, um, Ardley out. Uh, they've they've got their wish now. So, uh, we're moving on. We're concentrating on this game. And I'll tell you what, Blackburn Rovers have been all over us since the get-go here. They have been doing bits, ladies and gentlemen. And they take their lead. A header coming back. Off the, uh, off the woodwork and then uh, put home with another comfortable header there. Maybe there should have been more people in the box to try and uh, work out and actually start doing a Did little bit of defending right? here. Let's see, the cross, absolutely brilliant. There was no one defending him, really. And then Apadu just tries to take his head off with like a scissor kick there, but it doesn't work. So 1-0 at half time. That is not a good look. That is not what we need here. So uh, we need to see if we can remedy this sometime in the second half. Here we go. So Wagstaff nipping in there taking the ball away Pigger. oh my god it's a lovely little chip through there and Appiah puts it away now in all honesty that little pass to Appiah was a pure accident I think it actually came off the defender but it counts it all counts 1-1 47 minutes we didn't have to wait long after the break to get back into it so here we go that's exactly what we needed here lovely finish by Appiah god I tell you what if we could get him, if we could have got him at a, like, a young age, he, he could stay with us for, for a long time. He is a quality little player. So Nightingale, after one horror tackle there, somehow only received a yellow card. I, I don't quite know how that works. He really did like, go in for him there. Let's have another look at this. Yeah, he basically needed him in the balls. He needed him in the balls, ladies and gentlemen, and he only gets a yellow card. So uh, Vinnie Jones would be proud. So Blackburn, once again, Dak, and it looks like another foul there. And Apadu... Uh-oh, this is not good news. That's his second yellow card. And Ethan Ampadu now is off. God damn, the future star of the defence. Yeah, he, he kind of went in with a running knee there. Similar to what uh, Daniel Bryan does when, he, uh, when he's in the WWE. So, Blackburn now on the counter-attack. We did bring on another defender. We have got four at the back, but it would not matter. Smallwood manages to get onto the end of it, and there we have it. That is the second goal now for Blackburn on 77 minutes. We were up against it when we had 11 men down to 10. I, I don't fancy our chances. I don't fancy our chances whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, slightly gutted there, but not really surprised. Blackburn are one of the favourites for this division. But still, we should be uh, defending better than that. 2-1 at full time. Um, yeah. It is what it is. Um, it's it's a top club versus a middle of the road club. So it comes to some more loan signings. That is what we want. So we're trying to get Lewis, who is a uh, a left back on loan. We will hope to uh, tie that up in the coming days. So uh, Escobar out, Wordsworth in, Casey Ado goes on the left, Pinnock goes on to the right. Up front, Tammy Abraham will go in for Piggott and Key will come on for Appiah. Nightingale, who did uh, play a blinder in the last one, is going to be taken out for reasons of fitness. And uh, we're going to crack on. And we are going to crack on with one head of a game now. A familiar surrounding to many old Wimbledon supporters here. We're off to Selhurst Park to take part in the Carabao Cup. The competition we won last year that got us entry into Europe. <laughs> and it starts off well. Look at that. Bizakana taking a yellow card. So uh, that's that's not bad. If we can try and wind him up a bit, maybe we can get him sent off. That would be amazing. So a timely intervention there, but it does not work out. Townsend, and oh my God, it's all the way through. And Cromby, Jesus Christ, what a save that was. Once again, defenders just getting in the way. And is that a penalty? That looks like a penalty to me here, folks. 
Was it outside the box, though? This is what we need to see here. Rod McDonald going absolutely mental once again. He's protesting. Let's see where it was. It was outside the box. Inches away, fuck. So here we go. What can we do now? Can we defend the free kick? Oh, it comes off Wordsworth's face and goes over. Very nice there. And look at that flick on now. 37 minutes gone. Pinnock on the ball. He got the flick on. Chips it across. I thought it was going to go for a cross. It found the back of the net. Ladies and gentlemen, Crystal Palace being torn apart now by a team that, uh, have, frankly, have absolutely no right to be. But then again, we have been tearing Premiership teams apart since we started this series, since Season 1. Since we were in League 1, we've been doing well here. So, uh, wow, what a goal that was. A cheeky little side heel there to take the ball on. And then look at that. I think the keeper got a touch to it. But nonetheless, half-time, 1-0. Thank you to Mr Pinnock. Thank you. Thank you. That is exactly what we need. Second half now. It's all the way through. Crystal Palace trying their luck here. And oh my God. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. But it's all tied up. The Palace centre forward there doing very well. He looked like he put the ball between um, uh, Crombie's legs there. Let's have another look. Oh, I don't know if he did. It looked like it. Very embarrassing if he did there. So, Palace now being boxed back. Being put in their own half. And look at this. Kajar now into the box and oh my god Tammy Abraham sliding in near post and that is exactly what we needed now to try and take this game forward and make it our own 59 minutes Crystal Palace just sitting back they're not doing what they should do here they're sitting back they're not doing what they should defending up keeping it nice and tight looking for that ball over the top not happening there so Casey Ado now he sees a lot of space on the other side of the field now the right back from Tottenham he's come up real far Karja now into Abraham Abraham to the back post and it is blasted into the back of the net there and look at that that is exactly what we wanted to see Wordsworth doing the damage it's been a while since we've seen him go on a bit of a scoring spree you'll remember that he did it for quite a while but uh, now it seems that he's kind of died off of his shooting it seems that when I put it on ultra attacking somehow his position moved up front but still look at that it was a lovely finish and a lovely result ladies and gentlemen Crystal Palace have succumbed to the banana skin that is AFC Wimbledon. Maybe that's why we wear, we should be wearing a all yellow kit when we face these uh, teams. Just the banana skin that is Wimbledon. I like that idea. Wordsworth, uh, he's had a cracking game, but I need to keep it uh, rotated a little bit. And Escobar, I mean, he's 72 rated and climbing. He's a future star for us. He needs to stay in. So Caseyado, he maintains his place on the left there. Uh, Ampadu comes back in. Rice will go alongside him. And uh, we don't really have a replacement for Walker Peters, like for like. So we will just kind of wear him out and then send him back to Tottenham. That's the idea anyway, folks. So next game, a huge game. Sunderland at home at Kings Meadow. What can we do? They're a big club, huge club, in fact. Much bigger than they uh, uh, their placement deserves to be, really. They, they're an absolutely enormous club. I can't believe how far they've fallen, but look at this now. Abraham, he's just got to try and out outpace the Sunderland defender now. He does. Has he got the space? Turns back inside, across, and oh, my God, the poor marking there. And is that Pablo Escobar? It is. The drug lord from Colombia scores, <laughs> I think it's his first goal for AFC Wimbledon. There we go. Lovely stuff from the young man. Hopefully, this will be a very common sight. Maybe he's playing off the Sunderland players just, you know, for that kind of marking. That's the only way I can possibly think that he scored that goal. But uh, there we have it, folks. 1-0. That was the only real highlight of that game. Depressing, eh? But unfortunately, true. So, Rizzo, another future star of ours. Getting a little bit of training now alongside Escobar. Almost at 60 now for Rizzo. I'm really, really excited to see how those two get on. I mean, they're going to be the future stars. They are going to be our midfield maestros. Here's a little look at our earnings. Uh, 3.8 million. And I think we've spent about 3.4. So we are making money. Abraham, Rice and Walker's Peters is uh, our top selling shirts. Sadly, they're all loans. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, this guy is going to be amazing. Potential between 74 and 92. I mean, a 92 rated midfielder. Are you kidding me? I cannot wait for that. Cannot wait for that. So... Scout report is now available, and uh, we've got two more we need to look at here. So, uh, Hugo Azevedo, oh my god, and Dennis Moraes, he's not looking that good. Rated to 49 to 67. I'm, I'm not excited about him. 
not excited at all. We'll let it go for now, see how it plays out. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for coming back, checking out the channel, checking out the series. A couple of days time, episode number 19, right before your eyes. So long for now, folks.